Yeah. Just like time, Lego Movie, something we haven't seen something in a long, long time. The last yeah. one was Lego Movie 2, the second part. I think that's what it was titled. Came out was it not ago. Ninjago? Nah, because Lego Movie 2 came out in um, 2019. I'm pretty sure Ninjago was 2018. Because I was still working at the cinemas when I saw it. Fair enough, then. I'll trust that. <laughs> yes, you are right. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Cool. So we all know that the Lego franchise was previously owned by Warner Brothers um, in early 2019 and 2020. They lost the rights to them. Um, Lego didn't decide to renew their rights and they went with Universal Studios. Um, mm -hmm. Universal Studios and Lego has just come out and said that they're on active development on new Lego movies. And they have a whole range of ideas. This is really funny because on our Sims podcast, we're just, we had a conversation about how we're not getting more of these movies and then two weeks later... <laughs> boom so clearly universal yeah. watches let's be real as, as <laughs> <everyone else should. laughs> so obviously because we discussed that we d in that podcast we want to see more lego films and stuff like that what mm -hmm. what sort of films do you want to see in this lego verse james oof oh i didn't know i was going to be hit with that question um <laughs> what movies i don't know if i want to see any movies from the lego universe I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the film, but Lego Batman as a movie I thought was not the right move. I just don't think making it about franchise characters in Lego form is a, is a smart idea. One, you're going to run fatigue for both the Lego universe and for the character it's based on itself, whether it's, if they do like something like, you know, Lego Harry Potter or Lego Lord of the Rings, you know, I think that's just going to be, you know, you're, you're just milking two things there that's both lego and whatever it's based on so stay away from franchise characters the the first lego movie man is so damn good i loved the first lego movie and i, I really did think that i was gonna hate that that movie just because i thought it'd be like one big product placement movie um but it, it wasn't it was genuine it had things to say it was you know thought provoking i really just i love the message in that movie um, you know, about believing in yourself and, you know, everyone is special. And, you know, even if you're just a normal person, you can just, you know, stand out, I guess. So that one's really good. But the second one wasn't so great. I think if you just tell really good stories with, you know, have a, a generic Lego concept, you can have the franchise people play a part in it. Just don't make it based on them. Same with, I guess Lego Ninjago is kind of, it's more unique to lego if you have like you know lego space characters who who are who's originated from lego i think that's your best way is to to, to build this franchise but if you're just going to do it about like you know lego green lantern or lego spider-man i'm i'm not interested that's not where um i care to see any of these movies but the, the i didn't even know that you know warner brothers lost the rights to this because yeah me and you were like talking about it a couple weeks ago like it's so weird they made good money they were received well. Why have they not made? Why is there no more? Because you feel yeah. it's such an easy thing to milk. Um, and I guess we got our answer for that. But yeah, honestly, it doesn't it doesn't excite me much. But I just I don't know. Maybe the first Lego movie I think to me was just a one hit wonder. I don't know if we can ever recapture that. And yeah, what what do you think? I'm a bit excited for it. I do like the Lego animation and all the films um but i think you're right i think they can't focus on an already established franchise and not a lot of people be saying that, oh they should do harry Potter or you know superheroes the, the, the decent <laughs> hey they're making a whole new tv show why not lego now don't start bro i just finished the series last <laughs> night I, I just watched them all oh did you yeah i'm, I'm reading them all, so but yeah. we're, we're in a harry potter vibe <laughs> um so yeah, I, I agree with you in regards to how it can't be on a franchise because it's already established and what more can you do with that franchise except make them brick. Um, yeah. You know, so I think the best way is to come up with something new and mm -hmm. create new characters um, for the Lego so they can make new Lego, actual physical Legos based on these characters. I think that's mm -hmm. probably the best way. Whether they take the characters from Lego 1 and 2 and carry it forward or just have a whole universe of different Lego characters. I prefer, yeah. I prefer a whole universe, mm -hmm. you know, because shit, you can get so creative, like, Lego, like, you don't have to have it in, like, a Metropolis 
sort of setting you can have it like out in a swamp or as you mentioned mm -hmm. before out in space lego characters in space um yeah trying to like discover new lego planets and stuff like that and that's so mm -hmm. interesting so there's a lot you can do with lego The literally the world is your oyster it just depends on whether they want to go the franchise route or not um i'm more than happy for them to feature those additional cameos based on franchises you know like having mm -hmm. batman or harry potter show up for like a quick two second five second little thing and then just fuck off again you know yeah so mm -hmm. yeah i I, th I think once we get a bit more ideas or what they're thinking from universal i think we can have a proper sort of judgment but mm -hmm. fingers crossed to stay away from those franchises eh yeah i mean honestly i think the the key thing that works so well with the Lego movie and the first one particularly and why it was so good is Phil Lord and Christopher Miller. You know, they're behind those Spider-Verse movies they did, uh, Mitchell vs. the Machines, Game Night. Like, they're very, very good at blending humor and, you know, reinvent not reinventing per se, but doing making it really creative. You remember Game Night where it had, like, you know, shots where it looked like a board game at times and then... Yeah. What, obviously what they did with the Spider-Verse is something that uh, doesn't need to be said but Lego Movie it looked great visually as well I think you, you really need those writers and directors back I mean I, I don't think it would have worked without them so I really hope they are involved with whatever's next for this Lego universe yeah I'd also really like Le Lego genres so like they're not all catered towards kids I know that at the end of the day kids are the main sort <laughs> well, like of like Lego Horror yeah, like Lego horror, Lego action, Lego romance, you know, it's just spice things up a bit with the <laughs> visual creative feel. Like, never been done before, and it could be a huge hit amongst adults, because, let's be real, majority of the adults buy those expensive Legos and build them, so... That's very true, yeah, I actually know a few adults that do that. Um, but, one question for you before we move on. Mm -hmm. R-rated Lego movie, is it even possible? Without, without swearing. You can't even make that, like, R-rated. <laughs> is it possible? I don't think so, because what are they going to do? Like, have, like, little red, you know, those circular Lego blocks. Whenever someone gets sliced up, it's just those going past. Like Yeah. Or they could do something like Sausage Party. You remember that movie? <laughs> well, Nane wants to switch. Nane wants John as a Lego movie, guys, so... This is his idea. I'm just branching off on what he was saying. So next step is Lego porn. No, we're moving on now. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> there we go. I gotta censor right. that word out. 